Hey there, Scipio here, and I'm going to finally get you caught up on the Taro 680 Pro build. So we're going to start with just this uh, basic frame assembly, and uh, you're going to see some rapid-fire videos here. Uh, this is one of several that are going to come out really soon. But we got to get these clips in for the arms. This has uh, movable arms, uh, collapsible arms, and so these clips are what holds those arms in a place. You've got these screws with the little standoffs in them. That's what you want to use, and use some thread lock. But basically what we're going to do is starting with uh, the front side uh, where the uh, the Taro logo is. I'm just going to screw this in so that the uh, circular part that would hold the actual uh, boom for the motor arm is facing away from the center line. So uh, get that tightened in and it'll make more sense uh, once you uh, see the thing start to come together. All right. There we go. So that's how it looks facing away from the center line. And then we're going to go ahead and just add in the other red one and have it facing the opposite direction towards the other uh, side. All right, there we go. So we got the two front ones on, again, facing away from each other. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, do the backside now. The backside's going to be black. And we're just going to do exactly the same thing. So there we go. That's how those look installed. Two in the front, two in the back. Okay. So now what we want to do is uh, add in the other parts of the uh, swing capture, I'll call it. I just made that term up. Uh, I don't know what it is. But uh, basically, the arm clips in one side and clips in the other side. So... Uh, we're going to end up with two of these clips per arm, and they're going to now face each other. And uh, hopefully this will make sense whenever I uh, get it completed for you. Okay, there we go. You can see that the clips are pointing to each other, just like that, and that arm is going to go in between there and clip back and forth between the two. So we're going to do the same thing to the other side, and then we're also going to knock that out on the uh, the black clips as well. What you're going to end up with is half red, half black. There we go. So that's what it looks like. And uh, remember, you got pairs pointing at each other. And that'll be for each arm to swing back and forth. All right. So now the next thing we want to do is look at getting our actual uh, booms on the arms that are going to hold the motor mounts. So you've got these booms and uh, they basically have these swivelable mounts on them and they're going to mount in these four corners of that uh, center hole there. You can see there's four uh, screw points. We're going to and make sure here's another catch. There's a long one for the red and a short one for the red. You'll want to use the long ones here. Trust me. Uh, otherwise, you'll do like I did and install the short ones and then realize you just use your landing gear booms. Uh, so get the long red ones. The black ones, it doesn't really matter because there's only two of them. And you can see how they clip in like that. So do both of those uh, red ones in the front. Make sure you use thread locker here as well. There you go. And I'm just going to clip these in uh, just to lock them in place while I continue to work on this frame. All right, now we're going to do the black ones. Same exact thing. All right, now those are done. Lock those into place. All right, so that's the front two and the rear two. Now we've got the two that are going to point out uh, from the side. And that's going to be mounted a little bit different. Uh, and remember, oh yeah, double check. Make sure you're using the long arms, not the short ones for these red ones. Uh, I'm telling you this several times because I've made the mistake and had to undo what I did. So you've got these little uh, aluminum mounts, and they have some some fillets or scallops or whatever you want to call them. Those are going to point towards the outside. Now I'm just going to kind of mock this up temporarily to show you how it's going to look. But the reality of it is you can't really get these completely installed until you get the bottom carbon fiber panel on. And for this video, I'm only going to show you up to the top carbon fiber panel and these arms because the next step is to do the electronics. 
get those soldered in before I put the bottom panel on. So I'm kind of going through this uh, this mock-up just to get these uh, middle arms held into place. But in the end, uh, we're going to have to undo these screws and uh, and remount them properly. So these, uh, these little metal uh, clamps basically hold the booms in place and are squeezed between the two panels. And uh, so that's that's kind of how it's going to work. But and then on top of the uh, the top panel, there's going to be a little uh, orange clamp thing. It's uh, it's basically where the uh, the screws are going to screw in from the bottom up into this little orange capture thing. And uh, there's going to be four of those, uh, two for each boom. So I'm going to go ahead and mount. Uh, the one on the inside to hold the boom in place and that'll allow me to do the rest of the work with the electronics and have that boom at least held into place but again uh, I st I'm gonna have to unscrew these uh, in the end when I get to uh, to actually putting on the bottom part of that uh, frame assembly but you can see how this holds the boom in place and uh, that's good enough for at least this part of the build we'll do the same thing to the other arm so originally I was trying to leave these uh, outside just kind of loose and pressure fit in there to uh, to hold the boom. But they were just sliding around so I eventually took them off. And this is where I'm at uh, right now. And this is where uh, I can start doing the electronics part. This holds the booms into place, get the motor mounts on, get some wires run and soldered. Then we'll finish off putting on the bottom panel. So that's it for this video. Short and sweet. I know I'm catching you up. And... Uh, uh, I spent a lot of time in the hobby room this morning, get some electronics done, so stand by for the next video.